raise your drinks up casually. Raise your drinks, raise your drinks up, raise your drinks up casually. It's the Black Bourbon Family. Hey everyone, I'm Jason. And I'm Brandy. And we're the Black, Black Bourbon, Bourbon Family. Family. Guess who's back, everybody? Uh, had a work trip, so mm -hmm. pardon my absence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she left me all by myself. Y'all should have seen me. It took like five times to record that video. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> it did take a couple times. Oh, okay. Because I had to like position the camera and see. And I'm so used to saying, hey, everybody, I'm Jason. And we're the, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, man. I think you did a great job. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Somebody said, Jason, you did a decent job. But lo let's not make this a hat. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I was like, all right, Brandon, you got to hurry up before these people uh, start unsubscribing to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, today, everybody, we have something special for you. We are dipping our toes into Irish whiskey. So, a follower of ours, Megan, sent us an email and she said, Jason and Brandy, I really enjoy your channel. Would you consider doing a review of something outside of bourbon or rye? And I was like, of course, you know, what is it? So she said, well, I have uh, some Irish whiskey that I would like for you all to give your honest review on. And so Brandy and I was like, yeah, let's do it. You know, we don't really drink Irish whiskey. Uh, I think we've had Jameson yes. uh, every once in a while. But for the most part, you know, we stick to our bourbon bourbons and rice and, rice <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. Um, but today we want to talk to you about Egan's. So Egan's was founded in 1852 in Tullamore, Ireland by Henry and Patrick Egan uh, as a wine and spirit merchants. The Egan's developed their expertise in bottling and bonding many Irish whiskeys and also sherry, port, and rum. And what we have are two expressions for Egan. The first one we have is the vintage. It's called the vintage grain. This is a single malt, a single grain aged for at least eight years in bourbon barrels so <laughs> I'm thinking we're gonna like this one <laughs> um, it comes in I always have to do this it comes in at 92 proof and the MSRP $32 okay. not bad. right no. not bad the next one we have is fortitude so fortitude is a single malt Irish whiskey matured in Pedro Jimenez cask. Those are sherry casks. Uh, this is the only Irish whiskey to be aged this way. And it's a tribute to the co-founder, Henry J. Egan. Proof wise, gotta look again, comes in at 92 proof, MSRP $40. So very reasonably priced Irish whiskeys, and they can be found on the Egan uh, website, which I will provide in the description, as well as Total Wine. So these are two um, whisk Irish whiskeys that can be found online if you are interested. So, Brandy. Yes. Let's decide. Okay. If the people should you know make this purchase all right all right which one do you want to start with um let's we'll start with fortitude fortitude yes. okay outside one. outside one all right so this is the one with the sherry, sherry. Mm -hmm. and you can smell the sherry mm -hmm. right away mm -hmm. and 
maybe some raisins. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. So it doesn't smell like sweet, mm -hmm. but you can definitely smell the sherry the and sherry. the raisins. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at it, y'all. She took a break. Now she back to smelling. Oh, boy. She got a smile on her face when she's smelling and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll do a, a review by myself once a quarter or something. <laughs> you smell any spice though, Jason? I get like maybe a little cinnamon just a faint hint of cinnamon mm -hmm. but i get that sherry it's re very sherry forward yes so here's what i would say to my scotch drinkers mm. this really reminds me of on the nose a nice scotch has that with that sherry influenced i know there are some scotches that are peaty and some that are sherry influenced for the sherry influenced scotches that's what this reminds me of on the nose okay all right but no it smells good it smells very good i mean it's it's different than bourbon yes you know yes but it still smells pretty good you ready yes all right cheers, cheers. Mmm. It's got some spice. It does. It does. It's got some spice. Okay. This has some nice, I, I want to say rye spice, but it's more of like a cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Um, That sherry is coming in as well. And even the, the raisins, but it's got a... It's got a different taste. It's got more like a chocolatey. Yeah, taste to it. like chocolate. Oh, I'm, I'm oh. sounding like Jason now. <laughs> oh, so now she gets the chocolate. <laughs> hmm. How about that, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm definitely getting chocolate. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm smelling it again. Mm. The smell smells good. Mm. 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 Um, this is good. So it reminds, I'm trying to think of something that it reminds me of. It reminds me of a good lower proof bourbon in terms of the hug and everything. The lightness of it. Yeah. Because it's, it's light. It's not anything that's overpowering. But then when it comes to the sherry and the Irish whiskey together... I get a lot of that raisin and chocolate now yeah. that you say it. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> I really do. But do, but then you also taste the sherry. Yeah. 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 With the spice. With the spice. <laughs> <laughs> but not like a overly spice. But mm -mm. you know, it's got mm -mm. it's got a, it's got some spice to it though. This is pretty good, you all. I would say this is a good change up for those that want to try something different you look at some, those legs got some nice legs on it mm -hmm. yeah man all right so uh -oh. i would say the 42 the 40 dollar msrp this is a buy everybody as the judge would say this is a buy <laughs> <laughs> all right so now we're going to move over to the vintage grain and while we're moving over, if you could do us a favor and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Instagram, that would be most appreciated. All right, so this is the Vintage Grain. As I mentioned, this one was aged for at least eight years in bourbon barrels, in U.S. bourbon barrels. Single grain. Mm. <laughs> All right. Now this is this is this is cheating, Egan. Cause this is like some bourbon right here. Yeah. <laughs> Smells like bourbon. Uh -huh. <laughs> I bet Nick could get a, a kick out of that. Nick always say, Brandy say, well smells like wheat. <laughs> It mm. smells really, really good. It does. And it's got some good legs on it, too. Mm -hmm. I'm just switching, switching it around a little bit, but it's giving me some legs there. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. 
I getting I'm getting some vanilla on here, mm -hmm. like some, like almost like a graham cracker. Oh. Mm hmm. You know. Like a honey graham cracker. Honey, yeah. Because it definitely has a sweet smell uh -huh. to it. Mm hmm. Like. The Fortitude had a little bit more of a drier, because you know how raisins have like a dry taste to them, mm -hmm. but it didn't have a dry taste to it. Mm -mm. But they're not as sweet, so I can yeah. smell something sweet in, in, this, one. in this one. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, this smells very good. A little bit of spice good. too. Mm -hmm. Smell a little bit of spice. Yeah, yep. Some spice in there. Mmm, all right. Good. It does. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> not as spicy as the Fortitude, at least not on the initial taste. This, when you said honey, mm -hmm. this is a lot of honeyness to it. Like, it's not like the Nulu honey. Oh, that, yeah, the spice. You got spice? Yep, got mm. spice that time. <laughs> but it's that sweetness. Yeah. It's there. Yes, it is. I get a little bit of that spice. I would almost say the fortitude had a little bit more spice than the vintage. Yes, yes. Mmm. But this. Mmm. I'm smelling it again. Mm-hmm. This is good. This is like a, a happy medium of like, you know how usually I say, you know, rich, thick, richness mm. of the bourbon. Mm -hmm. This is like a happy medium of a little bit of thickness, but then a little bit of light. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. It's, okay, here's how I would put it. Okay. I agree with what you said 100%. Mm -hmm. This is one that if you, you can just keep drinking it and next thing you know, you passed out. <laughs> <laughs> it is like, just like you said, it's light. Mm -hmm. It has the richness to it, but it is light. And I don't know if it's because it's a 92 proof or what, Maybe. but yeah. Definitely could be a daily sipper. It, exactly. Yeah. And here's one thing. So this was on my mind when I read the notes on the vintage um, and seeing that it was aged for eight years in bourbon mm. barrels, right? Mm -hmm. And it's thirty-two dollars. Mm. American bourbon companies, <laughs> why y'all can't do this? I'm just saying. Now maybe it's a little bit more because it is a single grain, you know. And and bourbon is you know the corn, rye, yeah. wheat, and barley, or combination, you know. But it just made me think about it because I've been really thinking about these prices here lately and we may have a video about that. But anyway, not to interrupt Egan's <laughs> review. Yes. This is very good. Yeah, I like it. I would say, so here's my opinion, Brandy, or not my opinion, but how I would categorize the two. I would say vintage grain is for, has something. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Vintage grain. <laughs> is for my bourbon drinkers. I think this would just be like any other bourbon. It would have a slight different taste to it, but it would be very transitional. Mm -hmm. Comparable. Yeah, yeah, to bourbon. And I would say fortitude would be for those that- Like scotch. Like, like scotch. Yeah. With that sherry cask finish. They are both good. Mm -hmm. But if you are one or the other and you're like, I'm not sure, I would say scotch drinkers, four to two, vintage grain, uh, bourbon drinkers. So I really, I like both of them. I would drink both of them. But if people wanted to choose and like, well, which one would you choose or which one would you recommend? Mm -hmm. That's how I would label them. Yeah. I would say vintage is my favorite. Mm, okay. That's the bourbon one. Yeah. And see, you got a bourbon girl here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big scotch drinker. Right, right. But, I mean, if I was, and if I, you know, wanted to try something different, I would still drink the Fortitude. But mm -hmm. because I am a bourbon drinker. Yep, yep. 
Um, I lean more towards the the vintage grain. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I feel like we feel like these are two good Irish whiskeys that you should consider the next time that you're in the store. As I mentioned, they're both available at Total, Total Wine and Egan has a website that you can purchase them on as well. Vintage, $32. Mm -hmm. $42, $40. Very affordable. Yeah. Something if you want to just try and see what it's like. Very affordable. Highly, highly recommended. Yeah, I agree. Very good. All right. Well, as mentioned earlier, we thank you for joining us today. If you could do us a favor and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, and we will talk to you next time. Cheers.